Let's take a look at the following real-world situation and represent the relationship in a table. Miss James bought seven boxes of crayons for her classroom. Each box had eight crayons. What is the total number of crayons Miss James bought? First, let's think about what the question is asking. What is the total number of crayons Miss James bought? We don't know how many crayons she bought, which is what the question is asking, but we do know the number of boxes. She bought seven boxes of crayons. Let's create our table to help us figure this out. This will be number of boxes. number of crayons. If I look at my problem, I see the following. Each box had eight crayons. So each box eight crayons. That means one box has eight crayons. That's how I'll start my table. One box, eight crayons. This is my relationship. One times eight gives me the number of crayons because every box of crayons, each box of crayons has eight crayons. So here's box two, three, four, five. So if one box has eight, two times eight is 16, three times eight is 24, four times eight is 32, five times eight is 40, six times eight is 48, and seven times eight is 56. The total number of crayons she bought was 56 crayons. The relationship is the number of boxes times eight.